Audrey, are you retarded? It's not a rhetorical question. Are you retarded? <laughs> What's happening guys, Supernova here, back with another video, and I'm gonna try to keep this one short, but it is gonna be a bit ranty, so who knows what the fuck's gonna happen. But the reason I'm making this video is just because I'm really annoyed by some shit that I've been seeing for a while now, and I haven't said anything, but I've just gotten to the point where I'm like, yo, I'm so tired of seeing and hearing this shit from people, from journalists, from gamers, where I'm like, are your guys' brains fucking broken? And it has to do with Elden Ring. And let me preface by saying, I fucking love Elden Ring. I've played Elden Ring, I've beaten Elden Ring, I've got about 150 hours into Elden Ring, and as of right now, it is my game of the year. I even put it above Horizon Forbidden West. Now, I think on a technical level, Horizon Forbidden West does many things far better than Elden Ring does, but still as a total package, I would put Elden Ring as my current game of the year. That being said, the shit that I've seen people saying over these last couple weeks really just has me sitting here asking, are they retarded? <laughs> right? Are they retarded with a fucking capital R? Get them their goddamn helmets. And I already knew that shit like this was going to happen, right? Like the second Dreamcast guy put his review up where he called Elden Ring the best graphics he's seen in a video game ever. Um, I knew that there was something about this game that was just breaking people's brains. Now listen, Elden Ring is a beautiful game. It's a wonderful looking game. But the best graphics in a video game ever? No. No, sir. Not even fucking close. As a matter of fact, if we're going like for like, uh, Demon's Souls, the Blue Point remake of a FromSoft game, is a better looking game than Elden Ring. As it should be, because Demon's Souls is a PS5 exclusive, whereas Elden Ring is a cross-gen game. But that being said, there are many games available on the market that from a technical level have better graphics than Elden Ring. Elden Ring is in every way a cross-gen slash last-gen from software looking game, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's what it is. So I'm seeing shit like that, right? Shit that's making me ask myself, like, yo, is my man serious over here? The best graphics in a video game ever? But, okay, look. I'll at least give him that that can be subjective, right? Some Someone can look at one video game and then look at another video game and say, this video game is better looking than that one, even though if you were to get technical about it, they may technically, on a technical level, be wrong, but to their eye, it's just the better looking game for whatever amount of reasons, right? At least I'll give them that, okay. So forget the best looking graphics in a video game ever, whatever. I'm seeing people going around talking about how Elden Ring is going to change the way that games are made. And I'm just like, what? Like, fucking how? Elden Ring hasn't evolved gaming in any way. Elden Ring hasn't pushed gaming forward in any way. Elden Ring has done nothing to change how games will be made from now on. Literally nothing. The only thing that Elden Ring and From Software have done is evolve the way that a Soulsborne game can be made. Just like we have Metroidvania games, we have Soulsborne games. Your Soulsborne games being your Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro's, uh, Neo's, Mortal Shells, etc., etc., etc. Pretty much every game that From Software makes, as they are the creators of the genre, as well as other developers who make games inspired by From Software games. So, in Elden Ring, from Software has evolved the way or the formula in which a Soulsborne game can or will be made. That's it. Nothing more. It, they have done nothing to change how games will be made. They've done nothing to push the medium forward or to evolve the medium or advance the medium. All they've done is evolve or change how a Soulsborne game going forward can or will be made. That's it. And they only did this by making their game open world. Because in every other regard, Elden Ring is very much the exact same game that all the other From Software games are. 
right? They're all, they're all slight variations of each other. They all have slightly different combat. They all have different names for different things. But the core systems are exactly the same, right? Like you have the bonfires and Dark Souls. And then you have the Sites of Grace and Elden Ring. You've got your souls and demon souls. You've got your runes and Elden Ring. They work and act the same exact way. They serve the same purpose. Sit down at a bonfire in demon souls. It's going to repopulate the entire area with all the enemies. Sit down at the site of Grace and Elden Ring. It's going to repopulate the entire world with all the enemies. They're very much the same game. And that's not to say that's a bad thing. I'm just trying to hit home the point that Elden Ring is not some huge, giant deviation from what From Software games have ever been in the past. It's very much a From Software game in every regard, except that it's an open world game. That's it. And look again, because I know this can kind of sound like I'm shitting on Elden Ring. I'm not. I'm not trying to diminish what From Software did here with the open world because I love the open world in Elden Ring. I thought it was fantastic and I had a lot of fun exploring it. That's what I had the, the most fun doing, as a matter of fact, in Elden Ring was exploring the open world. But that doesn't change the fact that that is realistically all that they've done differently from all the other From Software games. And look, I really hate to break it to you guys that are just absolutely sucking Elden Ring's dick right now, right? Just fucking sloppy toppy all the way down your throat. Fucking balls bouncing off your chin. Got Elden Ring down your goddamn throat. I hate to break it to you, but open world games have been a thing. Yeah, they've been a thing we've had in gaming for shit going on close to 20 fucking years now, if not longer. I gotta throw on that last part, because I know there's gonna be some smartass in the comments that's gonna be like, mm, Technically, open world games have been established since 1964 by... And it's like, listen, dude, I, I don't care, okay? That's not, that's not the point. My point is that open world games have been a thing for a hot fucking minute now. And just because From Software decided to make Elden Ring open world doesn't mean that somehow they've revolutionized fucking gaming. Because they haven't. All they've done is revolutionized Soulsborne games. Because it is definitely an evolution of the way those games are made. But it has done nothing to revolutionize the rest of the industry. <laughs> that fucking statement is just ridiculous. Another thing I'm seeing a lot of, which, again, is just incredibly irritating and annoying, is uh, people saying that because of the success of Elden Ring, how financially successful it is, how many copies it sold, it's now evidence that there's still a place for big single-player adventure games. And I'm like, now because of Elden Ring? Elden Ring's the game that did that? Like, how short are these people's fucking memories? Because I remember not too long ago, EA was going around talking about how single-player games were dead. And then a little game came along called God of War in 2018. They started smashing records left and right, selling all kinds of numbers of copies. And then back then, these same people and journalists and whoever was saying shit at the time we're going around talking about how God of War was evidence that gamers still want single-player experiences, large single-player adventures, and not everything has to be a fucking online multiplayer, free-to-play, live service, what have you. Back then, God of War was the evidence. Then, a few months later, Spider-Man released. Sold even more than God of War did. And again, had people <laughs> reiterating that Look, single-player games are here to stay. Like, gamers clearly want single-player games. So, if the evidence was there back in 2018, how the fuck in 2022 is Elden Ring the game that's proof that gamers want large single-player adventures? How is Elden Ring the evidence that single-player games are still alive? Like, are these people just, are their brains that fried 
that they can't remember the same shit they were saying four years ago? Like, listen, I know I forget shit all the time, but dude, four fucking years ago? Come on. And this, <laughs> this by far is the best one. People going around talking about how Elden Ring is forcing the entire gaming industry to take notice and they're going to shake up how things are done from now on because they've demonstrated to all these big companies that it's possible to make a game and sell lots of copies and make lots of money without it being a live service game filled with microtransactions. They've, they're, they've shown it can be done and thanks to Elden Ring, Going forward, these big companies are going to forever change the way that they make games. <laughs> Fucking, are you serious? All because Elden Ring sold more copies than Call of Duty, right? Can you, can you believe that? Elden Ring sold more copies than Call of Duty? Can you believe that? Yeah! Because Call of Duty is getting fucking old. They've been releasing a game every year for like the last fucking 15 years. People are getting tired of Call of Duty. Elden Ring was something new and something fresh. So I can absolutely believe that Elden Ring outsold Call of Duty. Now, I really want to help you idiots understand something, okay? You just naive bastards who seriously, legitimately think that because of the success of Elden Ring, companies like EA or Ubisoft are sitting there asking themselves, yo, how can I make a game like Elden Ring and make some money? And then they're going to start making games in the vein of Elden Ring that aren't live service games and aren't filled with microtransactions. To you idiots that really believe that's going to happen, do you not understand that these companies are not asking themselves Yo, how could I make a game like Elden Ring that's not a live service game with microtransactions and make a lot of money? They're asking themselves, Yo, how can I make a game like Elden Ring that's going to make a lot of money that I can also make a live service game filled with microtransactions to make even more money? Do you not get it? The suits at these companies aren't going to look at the success of Elden Ring and say, Oh shit, live service games and microtransactions are clearly the wrong way to do this. We need to go back to the way games used to be made. No live service, no microtransactions, that's clearly where the money's to be made. No, they're going to look at the success of Elden Ring, see how much money it's making, and then say, yo, how can we make a game like that? And then on top of that, make it live service and fill it with microtransactions to make even more money. That's what they're saying. Because we've demonstrated to them, and by we, I mean you idiots who gave them money, we've demonstrated to them that we love microtransactions and live service games. Because they make a fuck ton of money making them. So no, <laughs> they're not looking around saying, how do we make our next game the next Elden Ring? They're looking around saying, yo, how can we make the next Elden Ring that's also a live service game riddled with microtransactions? And that's just a fucking fact. Eh, so I'm just tired. I'm tired of hearing all these people just sucking that Elden Ring dick. Talking about, oh, it's revolutionizing gaming. No, it's not. Oh, it's going to forever change how games are made. No, it's not. Oh, the industry going forward is going to forever be changed. No, it's not. Oh, it's the greatest looking game of all time. No, it's not. Like, fucking, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people. I don't know what about this game broke these fucking people's brains. But clearly something about this game is just burning these motherfuckers' brain cells up by the millions because they are saying some of the outright dumbest, most retarded shit I've ever fucking heard. And I'm just so annoyed by all of it, right? The YouTubers, the gamers, the uh, outlets, the publications, the articles. I'm just so tired of seeing it and hearing it because it, quite frankly, is, like I said, some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. And again, I'm not trying to take anything away from Elden Ring. 
I think it's an amazing game, and as of right now, it is my choice for Game of the Year in 2022. But it is not the greatest looking game of all time. It is not the best playing game of all time. It is not revolutionizing gaming. It is not changing the gaming industry. It is doing none of those things. All Elden Ring is, is an evolution of the Soulsborne genre. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's fine. It doesn't need to be more than that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm so over seeing people just deep throat this fucking game. Right? Again, it's perfectly fine if you love this game, if you think this is the greatest game ever made. I'm not saying that you can't have that opinion or that your opinion's wrong. I'm just saying that the other statements that people are making about this game and what it's doing or what it is, when it's like it's, it, none of those things are true, that's the shit that just really, really gets on my nerves. But look, there, <laughs> there is really no point to this video. There's nowhere else for me to go uh, on this topic. That's really all I had to say, right? It's just uh, people are going around saying crazy shit about this game, making ludicrous comments about this game. I don't understand why, I don't know why, but I just really hope that it stops soon. And uh, to keep this video short and not have it be an hour long, that's all I got for you guys on this one. And that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you love Elden Ring? Do you think it's amazing? Do you think it's revolutionizing the entire fucking industry? Or do you agree with me that, yeah, it's a great game, but that's all it is, is a great game? Let me know down in the comments, and as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next Supernova.